Hey, what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this video on Cortana for Android. Now I have the Lumia 640 here so we can kind of get a look as to see if it looks similar and we're also going to see how quick it is. This is basically going to be a video on speed of Cortana on Android and you know the look and feel of it basically. So let's go ahead and open it up. So I downloaded the Cortana app and as you can see it says Cortana mic. Now this app icon might be a little bit different if you're not using the theme I'm using. I'm using a theme right here as you can see for this. Uh, it's like this Note 5 theme. So they do theme out the icons right here. We'll get in more of that and what's in my Android for the month of January. But let's check out Cortana here. So as you can see there's actually a little car that's popping up there. I guess that is the I guess there's a widget for it as well, so it's nice and simple. Let's go into the app from the app drawer. So let's go to Cortana right here. So that's how the icon looks there. So it says, hi, Nick. Basically, when you first start it up, it's going to ask you for your Microsoft account, and it's going to um, ask you for your name. That's why it said, hey, Nick. So basically, as you can see, ask me anything with the little logo right there. So let's go ahead and grab the Windows phone and see if this looks identical. So seeing the uh, Windows phone, you're going to see it's a little bit different iconography, as you can see right there. Let the camera get in focus. It says, ask me anything. And the cards is a little more wider out on here, so let's go screen the screen here. Depending on what you like better, that's totally up to you. As you can see, Windows phone. Here's the latest entertainment news. Let's see what it says up here. doesn't really say anything up there. But what I noticed is that you have to go uh, up here. You'll see right here it says the uh, the hamburger bar. Those are exactly the same. So I noticed that. So that's pretty cool. They can do the feedback. Actually, there's settings here and help here. So that's slightly, slightly different. But you can see overall it's a little blue, you know, blue on Android and it's white on Windows Phone. So Windows Phone and Android's got slightly different, you know, iconography or icons or fonts or whatever you want to call it but let's go ahead and test this out so let's say you could say human like things to Cortana even on Android so let's say do you love me I'll need quite a few upgrades before I can give you a heartfelt answer <laughs> tell me a joke I told the doctor I broke my arm in two places he told me not to go into those places. Yeah, the jokes aren't aren't the funniest, but they're there if you feel like talking to your phone. <laughs> I love you. Thanks, ditto. She said thanks, ditto, but earlier she said I need some upgrades, so she's a little bit off in her language. But let's go ahead and check out a uh, speed test between the two. Let's hit them both at the same time. Weather for Chicago. Right now, it's 43. S four one that one. Right now, it's 43. And then the and 6, in So as you can see, even though Microsoft has made the app for Android, it's quicker on Android than it is on this Lumia 640. Now that might be due to the fact that this has a better processor in it. Yeah, it's the older S4, but whatever. It's got two gigabytes of RAM, and that's still a lot better than most of your, you know, phones in this price range. But let's try another thing to see if it gives us the same results. What is 155 times 152? That makes 23,560. Now the 640 beat the S4 on that one, so maybe I have to retract my statement. But all, all in all, you can see that Cortana works very well here on Android. So if you were wondering about downloading it or whatever or anything like that or the speed of it or if it's going to be worth it, I'd say go ahead and do it. It just gives you an extra feature to your phone, and this is a lot better than, you know, S-Voice. And I would even argue this is better than Siri, but once again, that's my perspective. Let me know your perspective on what is the best voice assistant for Android or for your phone in general. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up this short little video on Cortana for Android. And we could call it a little bit of a versus video but it's not really a versus video it's more about cortana for android and anyway guys if you enjoyed this content please go ahead hit that thumbs up down below subscribe for more technology videos 
I got this review coming up on the extra bass Sony headphones. I did an unboxing of this. You can go ahead and check that unboxing video up. I'll leave a card and that link and an annotation or, you know, you know the drill. And, uh, yeah. Hope you have a great night. If it's uh, morning, have a great morning wherever you are in the world. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace out.